Yeah! I thank you. Forgive me. Let's I do thank our you. best. Time to bust some balls. I got this. Ha! This is it. How pathetic. Even if their corruption was born of greed, I can't believe that's all they've got. And they were only fighting against a pretty instructor, not a tyrant. The state of the corruptor men is worse than I thought. We must take control of the entire netherworld soon, or demons will go extinct. As you stated, the degree to which these demons have weakened is a severe matter that we can't overlook. There must be a problem with the fear energy that's supporting the netherworld. We have no time to waste. Fear energy? Okay, whatever. So, Valzi, tell us something about that angel. I thought I warned you that I'd rip your tongue out if you didn't stop with that nonsense. Is that what you want? It's not nonsense! Half the reason we were dragged into this mess is that Angel's fault. We have a right to know. You're obligated to explain it to us. Ooh, as expected of Big Sis, forcing her selfishness through any argument no matter what. Desco is impressed. Are you certain of that? If you keep this up, I will inflict an unbelievable amount of pain on you, whether this is a dream or not. Uh, that's not a joke either, right? <laughs> Big Sis, you can do it! Desco will protect you from behind! From behind? That's enough, Fenric. You're starting to lose it. Besides, there's also nothing I can say about that angel. I've never been acquainted with an angel. But you knew her name! She said her name is Vulcanus. I don't know anyone by that name. She looks similar to someone I've met before. I simply mistook her for someone else. Someone you've met before? That 
That's not the kind of feeling I was getting from you. So what happened to that person? <clears throat> she was killed. In a foolish war between the humans. A war? Does that have anything to do with the reason why you got so offended when I declared war on you before? Why don't you stop with all your speculations? Our lord would never be affected by a human. How can you be so sure? Maybe that person became an angel after she died. Human souls can sometimes become angels. If by any chance she did become an angel, she would never engage in thefts. Never. She possessed the purest heart. Even I had a hard time. So, continuing where we left off, how did you meet the girl who looks like that angel? Must you keep? Come on, it's all right. It's no big deal. See, Fen Fen, we have your lord's permission. <laughs> how did we meet? Oh, that's right. It was back when I was still known as the Tyrant. Back then, I was still following my instincts, beating sense, namely fear, into the humans, and drank as much of their blood as I desired. And then she appeared before me. Love at first sight! Oh! <laughs> so, this is how the love started? Desco will see right through this love as a final boss. Love at first sight? Me? I'm curious to learn what kinds of strange things your brains are stuffed with. Demons have an important duty, keeping order in the universe by planting fear into the humans' minds to tame them. But unaware of our noble duty, the humans made us out to be vulgar beings with their exaggerated depictions of demons. Even things like how vampires love to suck the blood of beautiful women and virgins, and other false rumors. Artina and I met during a vampire hunt that began thanks to one of those rumors. Artina wasn't afraid of me. She even sympathized with me. You need human blood to survive? I feel for you. If you'd like mine, go ahead. Not to flatter myself, but I'm pretty cute and I'm a virgin. My blood should taste mouthwateringly good. But promise me one thing. Please don't drink any other human's blood after this. You? Aren't you worried for your life? Who are you not to fear me? I'm just an average civilian. I'm also a nurse. I try to keep myself pure, so please, go ahead and take my blood. My pride will not allow me to indulge in the blood of a human who possesses no fear of demons. To fulfill my duties as a demon, I will bring you to the depths of fear before I take your blood. Uh-huh. Okay, it's a promise then. Please don't take anyone else's blood until you scare me somehow. A promise, you say? I am pleased. I will take up that promise. Scaring you shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better keep it. Just so you know, it's actually going to be quite tough to scare me. Plus, we're in the middle of a war. Just pray for me, so I won't die before you get the chance to scare me. <laughs> Demons don't pray. However, it wouldn't be good for me if you die. Very well. Until I keep my promise, I'll watch over you so you won't die. Nevertheless, it won't take long. I give it three days until I get to take your blood. Is that the reason why you stopped drinking blood? A vampire's power comes from human blood. If he won't drink it, then of course... His power has gone. 
That is the biggest regret of my life. If only I were by his side, that wouldn't have happened. N no way! How could a legendary tyrant drop to this level just because of some promise that he made to a human female? Well, what happened, happened. He's a pretty instructor now. Anyway, I never would have expected you to be the type who would go head over heels for some lady. You wanted bastards? Die! You die! We were in the middle of some love talk! Desko will not let anything come between Big Sis and love talk! Desko will kill you! I shall re-educate you! I got this! My turn! Not gonna lose! Yeah. Here I come! Here I go! Here I come! Here I come! Yeah! <laughs> 
there. Sardines! Sardines! Do you still insist on keeping this up? Enough already! Sometimes it's important to hear what your subordinates have to say. It's fine. Ask me anything. My lord, are you actually enjoying this? <laughs> he refused to talk earlier, but he's willing to tell us about it now. We're just like real friends. Okay, I've got a question. So, is that promise really the reason why you stopped drinking human blood? Indeed. It must have been really important if it got a vampire to stop drinking human blood. Promises, contracts, they are equally noble and sublime to demons. Importance is not the point here. However, I wasn't aware of the weight of a promise back then. After that promise, after I told her I'd watch over her so she wouldn't die, I took the promise lightly. I felt the weight of it through severe pain three days later. And that's why you're so obsessed with keeping promises. But what are you going to do now that the person you made the promise to is dead? Are you never going to drink blood ever again? Her life or death doesn't matter. I will keep my promise. I made a vow to myself that day. I will never break a promise. He won't change his mind, no matter how many times I tell him to forget the promise. That's why he remains so powerless. The reason that woman died was because of a human war. Our lord is not to blame for this. It's all because of that futile promise. Say no more, Fenric. Since she died before I got to keep my promise, I must refrain from drinking human blood. Anyway, if that angel is Artina, then this is good news for me. Finally, have the opportunity to scare her and drink her blood. I really hope that's how he truly feels. <laughs> the 
this is the end for you. Give up already, you thief angel. Hey, look over there. Isn't that the angel? She looks like she's in danger. Desko can sense a certain kind of event coming up. I'm interested in seeing what Tyrant Valvatoris is going to do. Rebels from Hades, you're here to save the angel? No, we're just here to bring this area under our control. I shouldn't ignore what you just said, but first things first, we need to kill this angel. Sure, go right ahead. I'm glad you're helping to get rid of her. We're tired of being accused of working with that angel, right my lord? Right, but... Hey, come on! She might be that Artina girl! We can't do this to her! She's just a dirty thief. Persecuting her is the right thing to do. Hmm, that is true. She can't complain for being killed after all the things she's done around the Netherworld. Oh, so no lovey-dovey event. Desko is disappointed. I shouldn't give up on her. Jeez, demons are so... <laughs> then we'll kill this angel and claim the reward! Stop! You! Is a demon trying to help an angel? Out of your mind, my lord? This is only going to give the Corruptorment more reason to bring us down. Are you going to shoulder all of the crimes that angel has committed in the Netherworld? We can't afford for you to misunderstand how much this is going to affect our ability to accomplish our goal of usurping the regime. You can't seriously be seeing that thief as some woman who's already dead. Ed is telling me that she isn't the same woman, but I just can't stand here and watch that happen either. Yes, there it is! The love flag! Ah! Is this what people call the power of love? Tesco is abused! <laughs> the power of love can't be measured by equations! just as I read in a naughty book. Stupid to be an angel's allies, you scum! You have no right to call yourselves demons. Now die! I'll show you. Your back is wide open. You all ready for this? Watch this! Yeah. Show you Sardines. I got this. I got this. Ha! 
Your back is wide open. I shall re-educate you! Forgive me. Sadies! I got this. I got this. Ha! 